Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up sliders. Sliders are um, an object you can create on a GeoGebra screen that allow you to, to kind of control uh, of a number and change it to look at some behaviors. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a slider to represent, to represent um, a line eventually. But in this video, we're just going to put the sliders in and, and name them and set them up. So again, I'm going to come up to this top bar here. Go to the drop down and select slider, and wherever I click on the screen, it drops the slider in. I'm going to call the slider M for slope, and I can set my minimum and maximum interval on this, as well as my sorry, my minimum maximum value, as well as my increment. So I'm just going to set an increment of 0 0.1. It gives me a little bit more flexibility. Um, if you want to be a little more fancy with slope, you could actually make a slider for rise and a slider for run, and then you could individually modify those. But for now, we're just going to make a generic one called M for slope. So I'm going to select OK, and there's my slider. Now, before I click on this, notice the slider tool is still lit up, because the way this kind of works is it assumes that I might want to make another slider tool. So I'm going to select Move, and I'm going to move this back and forth. And you'll notice here on the side, that number is changing. And I can slide that in and out. Now I'm going to add a second slider. So I'm going to select this slider tool. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to call this B for the y-intercept. And I'm going to set the B from negative 5 to 5, and I'm going to set it for 0 0.1 as well. I'm going to click OK. Now, let's just talk about a couple other things here. Notice I can't really select this slider right now if I want to move it around, um, because GeoGebra tries to help you by locking it on here. Um, you notice that I zoom in and out, the, the sliders stay fixed, which is a nice option. Um, if you right click on it, or double two finger click, I guess, on a Mac, you're going to see all these options. So a couple of things that are useful. Um, this first one called fixed objects. So let's turn this off and look what happens. So this doesn't affect the zooming, but notice now when I take off fixed object, I can actually move it around in the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to make, turn off fixed object for both of them, and I'm going to kind of put them in a position like that. Now I'm going to put fixed object back on, and you'll notice I can no longer grab this to move it around, which is nice. The other option in here, which is nice to recognize, is absolute position on screen. Watch what happens when I turn this off. Notice now as I zoom in and out, the slider adjusts with that zoom. That's usually not very good. So by default that is on, but what I want to make sure is that I have absolute position on the screen. Um, and that means that now it doesn't, you know, I can zoom in and out and those sliders stay where they are. So let's just line these back up. There we go. Right click, fix object, right click, fix object, there we go. So finally, let's just make sure we understand how to set up some properties of these. So if I right click on, and, and right click, right click on a PC or two finger click on a Mac, um, allows me to pull up the properties. So this is a nice little sub menu you get. And what it has here is it will show me all the objects that are available on the screen. And then as I select them, I can go through some basic features of them. So this is, I'm on slider B. I have basic with the name, the value, the caption, so I can add a caption to it. This tells me about what I want to show with the label. Um, there's some other more advanced things. There's some color. I could change the color of the slider if I wanted. Um, I could set the position of the screen, that's that absolute position. Um, there's some other things around algebra I can do, which I won't get into. This is kind of fun if you want to do a little programming. I can actually write some conditional structures here, so I can do things like, you know, if the number is greater than something, change the color. Um, and I can actually write some specific script here in JavaScript or um, in GeoGebra Skip, which is, you know, a derivative of JavaScript. This is all really not important. Um, but what is important is that you understand how to right click on this object and to pull up the properties. I hope this video helped. In our next video, we're going to take these two elements or two objects and we're going to use them to draw a line that I can change. Have a great day.